Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we have created and deployed our sample serverless application consisting of a DynamoDB table, a Lambda function acting as a DAO layer for this table, and a RESTful method on API Gateway to provide access to this Lambda function. And finally, we deployed one HTML page on S3 to serve as our front layer. And we have tested that from this HTML page, we can reach all the way to the table. We can look up for a book ID like number one and submit this, which will go through the API gateway all the way to the back end and returning the results we expected from the table. We see that this is an unsecured solution, so we don't have security implemented anywhere. We don't need to authenticate or authorize the user for any of these calls. In this lab, we will implement security on the API gateway level using Cognito user pool, and we'll see the different workflows needed to authenticate and authorize the user to be able to invoke this function. In this lab, we'll just depend on using our RESTful client to invoke the REST method. In the next lab, we will see how to integrate this with the web client and what coding changes needed on the HTML page or our JavaScript code to authenticate first with Cognito and then attach the tokens retrieved from Cognito and the security headers of the request to be able to invoke the ABI gateway RESTful methods. So let's head to our REST client. This is once again the URL of our REST method that we created in the API gateway. And this is the payload we are sending to this method. The operation is read. The table name is box store. And the key that we are looking for is number one. And if we send this request, we will receive a 200 response. And we receive the details we have asked for from the table. If we change this to number two, this should return different results. And as expected, the author 2 and the serverless architecture 2. So as you see from the client, we can reach the ABI directly. We don't have any headers attached. We just send the payload as expected and we receive the results without any authentication. So let's get to the ABI gateway and add security on this method to use Cognito user pool. Under ABI gateway, Bookstore ABI is the ABI that I have created for this demo. And the first step is to create a Cognito authorizer under the authorizers tab. So head to this tab, click create, Cognito user pool, select the region that hosts your user pool. This is the user pool that we have created in the first section of this course. Demo user pool, create. And then we will head back to our RESTful method. Under the resources tab, I will go to the post method. Under method request, select for the authorization to use the demo user pool and save the change. And as always, if you do any changes to the ABI, you have to redeploy the ABI. So we will deploy this to our development stage. And let's head back to our REST client and try the call one more time. Now you see that we are getting 401 unauthorized. So now we have our ABI secured against Cognito user pool and we have to be an authenticated user with a valid ID token coming from Cognito user pool from this user pool to be able to invoke the ABI. So to test this, Let's authenticate with the Cognito user pool from the command line and retrieve the ID token and attach this token to the request and see how the service will behave. As we have seen in the first section of this course, this is the command to simulate authentication for a user. This is admin initiate authentication and we are adding the user pool and the client ID that we have created for this user pool. And the authentication flow is admin no SRB authentication. This is to force it to accept the password as part of this command. And then we have the username and the password and the region we are operating this from. Firing this command will authenticate the user and should return us the tokens. So as you see, we have the ID token and we have the refresh token and we have the access token. So let's take the ID token and head back to our REST client 
and now we need to add authorization header and the value should be this token so let's head to the header form depends on what restful client you are using you should have some means to add headers so the header name is authorization and the value is the token and then let's send this request once again and now you see that it's 200 our request has been accepted and the response returned as expected so now you see that we have secured our ABI gateway method against a Cognito user pool the user has to be authenticated with Cognito and coming with a valid ID token for the request to go through if you have any wrong tokens so I'll just delete one character from the token and try to send it back again it's unauthorized so we see that it's functioning as expected from your client application side and this is what we will see in the next lab you have to write the code to authenticate the user with user pool retrieve the token and attach or add this token to the call you make from your client application to the restful apis that's it for this lab thank you